Hey guys, tomorrow we will be getting Aerith, Echo, and BT. So I have been waiting for Aerith for a very long time already. I do consider her as the god tier support, like she's really good. If you have been following me since the early of FR era, I have been, you know, I have really liked supercharging strategy and Aerith is somewhat the queen of it because her echo supercharge as well. So let's just jump right in and discuss about Aries FR. Should her FR be used as a main FR or echo? So I can tell you right now, don't use her FR as main. Because if you want to synergize with echoes, it will not exactly work because she needs the character or the unit to use HP plus attack. But echo is an FR attack, so she will never, they will never fulfill the 40% condition from her uh, FR bonus. So don't use her FR as main. Use her as a FR as Echo because as Echo, her FR is a non-attacking ability. So that is the same as Supercharge, but instead of just 50%, FR Echo provide 80% regardless of FR condition. So here if you assume that you are using Penelo's FR, which is a generic FR best for supercharging, then there's 70% from Penelo's FR and 80% from Aries. So when you add that, you get a total of 150% bonus without consuming a turn because that is without consuming an FR turn because we are using an echo, echo attack. Okay, not an attack, right? Echo buff. So, and it's instant turn. So when you reach to Aerith then, let's say you activated an FR, you're already at about 123%. Then you just press Aerith FR twice. Then you're already at a, above 400%. So that is extremely good because right after that, you can start blasting your echoes or your attacks and all of it will deal like really hard. And it, she can allow the entire team to reach 999% HP damage bonus before you enter a BT phase. But usually, in that regards, you will need another friend, Aerith. But again, now friend is like not a thing due to ticket mission. But for new players, do consider that, that you have the option uh, to use a friend if you really could not defeat the current Shinryu. So anyway, moving on, uh, do we need Aerith BT? So her BT, what does she provide? She provides uh, a defensive role. So instead of just burst healing and everything, with her BT, she provides defense as well because there's a gold frame buff on Aerith, but the effect works on party um, with 100% HP and brave damage reduction. So that is actually really good, right? So when the enemy does any form of attack, it will be tremendously reduced. Okay, so that gives her a very good defensive role. And her BT effect is perpetual. So um, it will not, there's no like turn count on it. It will not dispel on its own. So the only way that Aerith BT effect will dispel is when a party members, including herself, um, goes below 50% HP. Then what will happen is that the BT effect will cancel. It heals the entire party and revive any party that is dead. So you can kind of like assume that this is a additional life that she provides to the entire party. So if you get killed once, then you get to revive. Okay, so apart from that, she also gained um, a new overheat. And her new overhead is somewhat like Garnet's overhead. Um, there's a counter on it, but instead of 4 for Garnet, Aerith is 3. So every time it hits 3, after that it will deal 1 AOE HP dump based on the charge of the overhead. And that is similar to Shalota, but Shalota is based on Brave. Hers is based on healing, so the more you heal, the higher the number gets. But it caps at 200,000 and uh, the last I tried, the attack caps at 400,000 without HP damage bonus. 
but it does kill with HP damage bonus. Okay, so it is like if you reach 999%, that attack is about 5 million, 5 to 6 million. So it's okay, it's quite significant, but it's not something like you want to build around it, like to abuse and utilize it for great effect. So it's just there for additional damage, which is, which is okay. So in situation, if you can't pull her BT, which I definitely do recommend you to get uh, Aerith entire kit because her BT finisher also hits very, very hard. It's a 7 HP dumps AOE attack. So that's 14 HP dumps. But the thing is like um, her, H her BT finisher is like Yuna's. So the five first HP dumps is based on her current brave and then she gained a little bit more brave and then she attacks so she will never hit the cap of her bt finisher which is 400 percent hp damage limit up so but the other two attack because there's brave um hits so it can go up all the way to cap so that do you have to do note and keep in mind about it but the thing is that right after Aerith is Queena, and if you bring Queena, she just hit cap on all 7 HP dump, which makes it a very, very strong nuke to use against enemy. So if you want to go for that form of play, um, her damage is not bad. It's quite viable, so you can do that. So if you really want to do that, then get her BT, okay? Um, for... The situation where you do not have her BT, she still works very well because the Echo Charge does not rely on her BT. So you still can get that 80% from her Echo Charge and that is that is still awesome, okay? Because most of the time, people bring her for that, right? You don't bring her exactly as a DPS character because the other DPS definitely deal a bit more damage than what she does even though she have a good BT face. So just for supercharging um, capability, then without her BT is fine. Her BT just provide 20% HP damage limit up compared to most of other BTs, which has like 30%. So you are not really losing out that much because her high armor also provide HP damage limit up. So about Aerith kit, um, this is not anything new because she already have this even before. So with Seal Evil debuff, uh, I'm sorry, buff, and her Planet Demonition debuff, sorry if I butchered the name, anyway, she have, she provides the party with debuff evasion 100%, and she prevents boss from buffing themselves. So this is really unique, and it's really good. And on top of that, she has fast charging and supercharging capability as well as strong healing and revive so that makes Aerith a really good character to have so on top of the FR a good FR a good BT she also have a very good kit and how to use Aerith okay first of all um, she function more as a fast charger so you know when if you enter a game if you have her there you can just use S1 and quickly charge the gauge then you pass her turn to a main FR user because you do not want to use the FR. Not even if you want to enter her own BT phase because uh, if you enter her own BT phase, you have to use HP attack like that's the only thing you can use because if you use LT and EX, it will not fulfill the condition. Okay, but anyway, do note that now her HP attack is 3 HP dumb and splashes 3 times and then it does a follow-up if you already have her LD still evil buff on her, she will deal a follow up attack that is 2 HP dumps, full damage AoE. So that means total of, if you're fighting against 2 enemy, that's 10 HP dumps. So that's actually really, really good for a support character, right? So, anyway, um, after, um, a DPS character or something uses their FR, then when you come back to Aerith's turn, you can use two of her Echoes right away, and that will increase the HP damage bonus by a bunch. Then after that, you use um, the main character's Echoes or the third ally's Echoes and everything, then you enter a DPS BT phase. That will at least guarantee you are somewhere about maybe 800% at least 
or if you do it correctly, you can even reach up to 999%. Something to note here uh, is the BT finisher because I did mention that her BT finisher hit really hard. So in a way, if you're not going to enter her BT phase and you are not going to use her BT early because you want to use it as a nuke, then you are losing out on the defensive capabilities and the extra attack from her overhead. Um, but if you do not need those, then it's okay to wait it out and use as a nuke. But for my playstyle, I usually just go for Aerith BT right from the start since it doesn't have a specific turn count. So might as well just get the additional HP damage limit up, the overhead that shoots laser out. So, um, but in a way you can do whatever you want. Uh, she's quite flexible in that sense. So if you do enter her BT phase, so the rotation will be 4 HP plus attack, EX and LD, assuming that you are not using her FR. If you are using her FR, then you just go 4 HP plus attack. Unless you already reach 999%. Or you can also use her BT phase to quickly charge the HP damage bonus. So you activate um, a DPS unit's FR. So when during Aries turn, you directly go into her BT. Okay, then you can use S1, S2, and FR to supercharge. One thing to note again, FR supercharge during BT is not 80%, but it's 30%. S1 and S2 is still 50%. So that's something that everyone should know about. Okay, so once you charge it up, and also assuming that you use the FR echoes before you enter a BT phase, you can easily get up to a really high HP damage bonus. Or let's just make it simple. Let's just assume that we are using Panello. So that's 70% um, FR condition. And Panello, when she starts, she gets about like 150. And then she, her FR is also buff ability instant turn. Then she can use her own FR. Um, okay, wait, she don't have echoes, right? So then now let's say she used a BT and passed the turn to Aerith. So we are looking at somewhere about 220 uh, HP damage bonus. Aries FR Echo will provide 300 to that. Then we, now we are at 500. Then you enter Aries BT phase. Each supercharge is about 120. FR, FR in BT phase supercharge is like 100. So you are already at 800. And then you just use another 3 attack and you will be at 999. Then, then you nuke with Aries BT finisher. Then Okay, now assuming that you have put Luna Freya's um, LDCA on maybe Panello, then you give two turns to, let's say, the DPS character, which is a uh, Tifa, right? Then Tifa can FR Echo Nuke twice, and now back to Panello's turn, she can just do whatever she wants. One turn left in FR, then you can use another Aerith Finisher and Nuke the enemy again. So, with all that, I guarantee you the enemy will be dead. So, yeah, I think it will be a pretty effective uh, run. I'm definitely looking forward to do that with Panello. So when should we use Aerith? So pretty much you can use Aerith anytime you want. She works anywhere. Even with FR that doesn't suit her condition, like she cannot supercharge, you still get 80% echo, right? That, that is still very good. So yeah, so that makes her a very flexible character that can be easily slot to any team. Um, and especially if the fight has HP threshold, so you can use a golden frame buff um, to block against those attack due to the 100% HP damage reduction. So overall, I'm going to give Aerith a 10 over 10 for a kit, for a FR, for a BT, the flexibility in doing various runs, uh, various style of play. So if you have the resources, must get her entire kit. Alright, so thank you very much, hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.